I mark where the faucet goes. I set my vanity height. I always intended to do an undermount sink. I changed the design. I never relay that to my plumber. And now here I am. I open the wall up, I rip off this tile at 55 bucks a square foot and relocate the, the plumbing. Make it right. I got this awesome concrete vessel sink by Oasis Custom Concrete. They're building it. Um, it's actually not a, it's, I guess it's not considered a vessel, more of a vanity top sink, but super cool. Uh, it's gonna match this tile, uh, the gray tile floor. Um, he poured it, I believe, just the other day, hopefully install tomorrow, uh, and we get some really cool brass Newport, uh, Newport brass fixtures for that, uh, all wall mounted, similar to our Boston Harbor Reno. Uh, we get the total wall mounted toilet, and the whole carrier is behind this tile. Um, and then you got your buttons on the wall. Um, as you see, this is a mercury mosaic white diamond tile. Uh, depending on the way you look at it, it changes the shape of it, right? Um, here's the really cool uh, part of this, this bathroom. Zero threshold here for the, the shower. Everything is continuous. You, you can see right here that that tile is totally flush. And what we're looking at here is a Schluter uh, linear drain with a tileable cover. Uh, I talk about this a lot, but now the water pitches from here down to this drain, hits this one, and if it happens to make it across, it's gonna hit that one as well. But yes, I mean, there's gonna be some residual water that makes it out of the shower. I mean, it's a small space, we didn't want a door. So what we did is we ran that waterproofing out of the shower. Um, and also a, a quick little note here is that the radiant uh, it's all radiant flooring. We actually ran that heat cable throughout the shower. And for you guys that are gonna do that with the, the Detra system, you have to re you also have to apply the Curdy membrane on top of the Detra because that cable has to be 100% waterproof before you install tile. Um, so that Mercury Mosaic diamond tile runs all the way to this corner. From here, we have a natural um, basically no cuts. We just kind of let the, the design run wild back. Here's our uh, brush brass, Newport brass shower um, fixture. It's a great finish, one of my favorite. I've used it in my personal home as well. Um, and you guys can see. So you can see that water rushing right down to the drain there. And very little of it makes it pass. You're gonna get some splash out in, into the bathroom but nothing that a little bath mat or you know a quick wipe after uh, can't fix. But let's talk about this window, looking out into this gorgeous backyard. Nice big window. You can see that entire private backyard back there. It's all fenced in with, with a ton of greenery. Uh, let's make our way out. Actually, let me stop you here. Here's something that we built in the shop, all white oak. This is a mitered face. Let me grab the, the drawer front real quick here. So it's a mitered, mitered box and we, we have some hidden drawers behind it. And then this will be the drawer front that go, when it shuts, you have that nice miter detail right there. It's gonna look super cool. And yes, it does, it is a little short. That is the design intent. And there's actually another false drawer front that will cover that gap. So this will pull out sep totally separately. Um, a super cool vanity that we built in our shop and had it finished uh, with a clear polyurethane.